Okay, so this question uh, in A Course in Miracles, sometimes the language, especially in the in the in the workbook, not the lessons, but in the workbook, or quite often, uh, Hawkins talks about it. Often talks about the ego in very aggressive language, like the ego shouts and screams and is evil and is in competition with God and blah blah blah. And it sounds quite dark. Um, and actually, um, Hawkins said the lessons are calibrating at enlightenment, and the the text only calibrates at a lower vibration, you know, more like unconditional love. So the 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 work the the text is less useful than the lessons because it tends to create this heavy languaging of the ego, which can have the downside of making the spiritual seeker get a duality and actually, you know, not like their ego. Uh, whereas it's the fastest way to let go of your ego is to just forgive it and let it go and forget about it. So it's not, in a way, it can be not less helpful to the spiritual student trying to get rid of their ego to have very, very dense um, negative language about it because it can uh, create a polarity or a duality within the student. You know, they, they hate their ego, you know, they or they're frightened of their ego or whatever it is, uh, as opposed to just forgiving it and just letting it go. Uh, like it's, um, it's, just, uh, it's just an animal that just wants to, you know, do its animal thing. And um, that's, you know, the animal nature is just like that. You know, it wants to, it wants to eat, <laughs> it wants to eat things, steal things, and have lots of power, God bless the ego. It's a fun, it's a fun thing. Um, so um, that's Hawkins view. And I would say as well, being a Hawkins student, I just didn't read the text. I just did the lessons. I just go, just let's get into action and start using the lessons rather than read the text. Um, I personally, even though, you know, it's not helpful to most students, I personally do use quite heavy language with ego and that it seems to be helpful to me. I just don't, uh, I just don't enjoy the, the stuff my ego has done. So I just, uh, but I still, it's not to attack it. I just, um, I'm mindful that I don't want to engage with it, that's all. Um, so yeah, so uh, if you find that language uh, unhelpful when the Course in Miracles is saying your ego is evil, bad, or, or wrong, or, or what is in competition with God, or shouts and screams, it's, uh, it's stuff, um, you can change that into something more benign and more compassionate yeah. and just let it go if that's not helpful. But I just tend to focus on the lessons, not so much on the... Um, on the text. Go stop there.